We are learning new details today on the Brownsville resident who police say plowed into a group of migrants. This happened at a bus stop on Sunday morning. Our own Anieli Ruiz traveled to Brownsville, joining, joining us now with the very latest. Anieli, where are you right now? Well, Sherman, we're actually at the scene of where the crash happened. Take a look behind me. You can see lots of media has gathered out here. A lot of different memorials set up for those victims and the people that are at the hospital right now. But we have learned some new information on the suspect. Take a look. This is who police say was driving that SUV yesterday morning. 34 year old George Alvarez. He's being charged with eight counts of manslaughter and 10 counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. His bond was set at $3.6 million. The incident happened on Sunday at around 8.30 a.m. Investigators say Alvarez ran a red light, lost control, and plowed through a group of migrants waiting on a bus. The police chief said six people died on scene and 12 were critically injured. That number has now climbed to eight fatalities, and here's what the chief had to say about the suspect. George Alvarez is a Bronzo local with an extensive rap sheet. He has been formally charged and arraigned with eight counts of mass slaughter, And again, we know Alvarez went in front of a judge this morning. We're waiting for that video to be released by the police department. The chief says there is a pending toxicology report, and I know it was believed that the suspect might have crashed into the group intentionally. The police chief says they're still investigating that and have not ruled out that as a possibility. Now we've spoken to several people here, some of them relatives to those family members. And of course, we're going to bring you guys the very latest and their story coming up on KHOU at 4. Reporting live in Brownsville, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.